Hello, hello, it's Shara. Welcome back to my channel. It's time for another current favorite video and I'm always so excited to share what I love, things that I've found and enjoy using it so far. The little things in life that makes me happy, okay? Especially now, like this year, you know, it's a crazy year. So I really appreciate the little things in life that makes me happy. If they make me happy, I hope they will make you happy too. Without further ado, let's get started. You all know by now, before we start, don't forget to subscribe, turn on my post notifications, and follow me on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. The first item I want to share with you guys is this brand called Ana Luisa. If you're not familiar with them, Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand. They're based in New York and yes, I have worked with them before. Ever since I discovered this brand, I have been wearing their pieces non-stop. This is the best jewelry brand I have discovered this year, which is why I was super excited when they reached out to me again. So yeah, a huge thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this part of the video. This company has managed to become carbon neutral. They offset 100% of their carbon emissions. Basically, they give back everything they take from the planet. You know, I love that they care about the environment so much. A lot of places in United States they don't tend to recycle enough and I am very passionate about recycling. Like I said, it's a sustainable jewelry brand, meaning that they use 100% recyclable gold and sterling silver to make their products. They have amazing designs with fair prices, starting from only $39. Also, their pieces are long-lasting. They only use the best noble metals. I mean, I've been wearing them for six months now. Yeah, they haven't tarnished or anything like that. They still look as new as when I first got them, so yeah, long-lasting. I love dainty gold jewelry. I talked about this in the last video, but you know, I can't say enough. I'm wearing some of the pieces right now. These are actually two separated necklaces. It's a set and I usually stock them together anyway, even though they're not a set. So I love that. I think this little moon is so cute. And also, these has to be the cutest earring I found this year. Like, Look at this. Like I said before, I love fluff, so it's spelling out for me. Moon and star and pearls, this is the thing. This is the vibes I am loving. They're currently running an exclusive Black Friday sales. Go check it out. I will link everything in my description box. So yeah, if you want some cute jewelry pieces, they're not super pricey. Anna Luisa is your best choice. Next, I have this Marc Jacob bronzer right here. It's super big. Like look, it's very big, but it's also very thin, so it's not hard to carry or travel at all. I just love the packaging. It's just so white and pure. This is in the color 104 Tantastic. Like fantastic, but tantastic. That's so cute. I didn't even know. This is the Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan. And I love that. It has a huge mirror. This bronzer, it's all I have been using it lately, and it just looks super natural. And I, I kind of feel like it has a glowiness to it. It gives me a very natural glow whenever I use this. Went so well with my skin tone, looking natural. Love it. Bobbi Brown's Intensive Skin Serum Foundation. I love that this has SPF 40, which is very high. Love that. I'm in Florida, so that's much needed. I talked about this foundation not long ago in my fashion video, like I dressed like one of the Korean characters. I have been eyeing on this foundation for the longest time. And the reason for that is because people either really love it or really don't like it. So I was very confused. Finally, I was like, I gotta try it for myself. And I loved it. It is a little bit pricier, but I gotta say, this is kind of like skincare and foundation at the same time. I feel very hydrated. Most foundations make my skin super dry after a few hours. And this one, I'm currently wearing it right now and it just looks flawless. I have combination skin, so my T-zone is a little bit oily, but it's still on the drier side, and obviously my cheeks are dry. I love the wet, dewy look when it comes to foundation, so this is perfect for me. Oh, it says shake well before applying. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's okay, it turned out good anyways. 
I don't even know what brand this is, honestly. Apparently, this mascara is very popular in Taiwan. It's made in Japan. I'm currently wearing it right now, and I just love how it looks on me. I feel like with this, I don't need falsies. Ever since I discovered this, I kind of stopped using my MAC Extended Play Lash, which is another one of my favorites. If you can't find this, I found it on Amazon. I will link it in my description box. But if you can't find this, because you know, this is from Asia and I don't know if Amazon would always have it. My all-time favorite mascara besides this one is the MAC Extended Play Lash. It has a very thin wand and it just applies it perfectly. So I, that's what I've been using all the time before I found this one. Next, we have this Tarte eyeshadow. Super tiny and cute. This is in the color Exposed. It's their metallic shadow. Tartus, <laughs> like artist but Tartus. I love that. Um, metallic shadow. Rose gold color. I wasn't like well at the first time but I found myself using this all the time. In one of my favorites video, I mentioned that I really like one of the lipstick thing and it's also in the color Exposed. They're a set. The reason why I even got this is because I got this lippy first, fell in love with it. It's such a natural muff pink color. I dropped it on the floor or I forgot what I did but I think it was like broken. I was not happy so I went ahead and order another one. It was a set, a value set, and I was like, oh, okay, that's very valuable. <laughs> the box came with the eyeshadow and also a liquid highlighter. They're all in the color Exposed. I've tried this out, it was just okay. I never really like using liquid highlighters for my face at least. Like for the body one, I get it because you know, the body one is easier that way. This Kat Von D tattoo liner. This is actually a sample size. I got it from Sephora, either with my points or from the sample options. I remember I wanted to try this out because people were saying it's so easy and I basically gave up on liquid eyeliners. I totally forgot that I wanted to try this. The best liquid eyeliner I have found so far. It's just so precise and I guess like because the tip is very thin. I've been using it for a while now and it still stays like this. It's very easy and precise when you're trying to draw your liners. I'm not good at it so I need this. I found this macaroon from Trader Joe's. My mom is in this Facebook group called Taiwanese Women in the States or something like that. It's a closed group. My mom read something and she was like, oh, do you, do you know Trader Joe's? I'm like, yeah, it's kind of everywhere. My mom's like, really? We have it here too? Because a lot of them live in California and a lot of good things happen in California we don't have in Florida. So that's a sad part, but she's like, really? We have it here? And she was so excited. I was like, yeah, yeah, let's let's go. I don't normally go there and I never really introduce Trader Joe's to my mom because it's like 30 minutes from my house which isn't that far if you think about it because my mom likes to go to Asian market sometimes that's farther so I took her to Trader Joe's and then we found this it's made in friends Macaroon is from France, so the chocolate one is so good. The vanilla one is good too, but I'm a chocolate person. This is actually an empty box. Unfortunately, I've already finished it. Trader Joe made this. Trader Joe is a German company, apparently, just like Audi, and they have a lot of good stuff there. Inside has six chocolate and six vanilla, and it was only for... I don't remember how much this was, but it was a good price. A lot cheaper than I normally would get from the macaroon shop. It tastes like the macaroon shop quality, but smaller, but that's okay. <laughs> we don't need a lot at once anyways. This one, I honestly, when I first got it, because I got it from Target.com, because of its shape, I thought it's a lot bigger than this. When I got it, I was like, wow, so much smaller than I expected. We need to hurry up and invent something that you can just smell it through the screen. This smells so good. I love the scent and I'm very sensitive with the scent too. Like some certain floral scent will make me have like allergy reaction. I will start to have like runny nose, like watery eyes and just like itching, like my throat is itching and my nose is itching right away. Pretty bad. I never had that issue when I was younger. This smells very familiar and I cannot tell you where I have smelled this before. It's so comforting. Like usually I am very good with smell. So if I smell something that I've smelled it before, it would take me back to the scene or to that feeling instantly. But with this one, it's very strange. I cannot remember 
Next favorite, I have a book recommendation. I read this a while ago. You're a badass. How to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. I have like notes too. Such an inspiring book. Your brain is your bitch. I love how this author is kind of writing it like she's your best friend. You don't feel like you're reading. You feel like your best friend is telling you something and something that would really help you with. A better perspective in life, and I love this book so much that I also got her sister and brother. You're a badass at making money. I haven't finished this. I have a bookmark right here, and also there is you are a badass every day. So yeah. My next favorite is a TV show called Destiny. Hello, hello. This is the editing Cheryl. The show is not called Destiny. The show is called Dynasty. Get it right, girl. I'm currently on season three. So far, it has only three seasons. The new season is coming out in 2021, so I'm just trying to like watch it slowly. <laughs> This show gives me a Gossip Girl vibe. So I looked it up, and guess what? It's the same producer or. It was the same screenwriter.、Um, I think with this kind of show, there are multiple screenwriters. At least for one of them, it's the same as Gossip Girl. So this is why I got that vibes. If you like Gossip Girl, you will like this show. And I love the main character. She's beautiful. Also, one of the main guys, he's pretty cute. I need to have good-looking main characters for me to enjoy the show. So yeah, I want to share some songs, but unfortunately, I cannot play it, or else. You know, YouTube copyright. It's not cute. Not cute. I'm just going to list the name. I made a playlist a while back, and because of the copyright issue, I had to take that one offline. So I will give you a list. I love to find new artists. You know, some of the artists they might not be super popular. They tend to have good songs, like. Good, good songs, and people just don't seem to find them, which is why I love to support them. The first song is "Stranger Sweater" from Emily Choi. Her voice is so amazing. You know what? I can actually play her music right now. It doesn't matter what songs she sings. I feel like she makes every song a lot better. I told my mom like she has this angel voice. I just enjoy her voice so much. I found that she has a YouTube channel. I subscribed right away. <laughs> she made a cover of this song called "Less of You" by Kashi Kishi. I'm so sorry I can't pronounce your name, but because of Emily, I found this artist, which I love so much too. Two songs I love: "Less of You" and "Always." I love the word always for some reason. I will read you a little bit of his lyrics. Where'd you go? Could have sworn that you were slipping over. Say I don't know, but I thought that we were starting over, like we always do, like we always do. Was I a fool to think that we always would? Gone, not a trace, and it's almost like it never happened. No, not the same. Guess it hurt me more than I imagined. We always do, like we always do. Was I a fool to think that we always would? No, you're never a fool. You just haven't met the right person. The right person will come in the right time and the right circumstances. This lyrics, though, it's so simple, but it just touched my heart right away. Next, we have the Roosevelts. The list of their songs here, like I think it's a band. I I don't know. I never looked them up. I don't know how they look like, but I came across their songs and I pretty much love all of them. Another one would be Zyke. I will also put the list right here. Leave me breathless, burning me out, the rest of me. Oh, go listen to it. It's crazy that I feel like no one knows these artists. But they're amazing. I have been listening to these songs like nonstop for many months now. <laughs> If I like a song, I just put it on the playlist and repeat it over and over. That's how you know I'm obsessed with the songs. I used to live with my cousin. He woke up and he was like, "Why do you keep playing the same song over and over and over?" <laughs> That's just me. I like to do that. <laughs> Alright, guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out Anna Luisa's Black Friday sales. It's happening right now as we are talking. Thanksgiving is coming, so maybe you can find something special for your special someone. I will link everything I mentioned in my description box. Coming shiny if you make it to the end of the video, just so I know. And thank you, thank you for listening to me. Also, I would love to know what your current favorites are. Doesn't matter if it's a song, a show, a book. Share with me in the comments. I would love to try out your. Current favorites as well, and don't forget to subscribe, turn on my post notifications, and follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye.
stay, even if it hurts, even if it's just.